Today, I'm going to show you a school that is almost 200 years old and has led the way for many institutions in the process. Oberlin College is a private institution located in Oberlin, Ohio, which has a population of 8,300 people. The campus size at Oberlin is extremely large as it totals 440 acres. Oberlin College is also in a suburban setting situated 35 miles southwest of Cleveland and was founded in 1833 by John J. Shippard and Charles Grandinson Finney. Oberlin is a college of arts and sciences and it has a renowned music program as 600 of the 2,900 students are in the Conservatory of Music. The Conservatory of Music was established in 1865 and is currently the oldest continuously operating conservatory in the United States with 11 divisions, eight majors, and 42 areas of private applied study. The college and conservatory sponsor more than 500 concerts and recitals, about 40 theater and dance productions, and two operas every single year. Oberlin College also holds a lot of historic buildings, such as the Allen Memorial Art Museum that was established in 1917 and has collections that place it among the top five college art mu museums in the nation. The Apollo Theater, which is one of the few continuously running single screen movie houses in the country. Also, Oberlin College Lanes is the only bowling center in Northeast Ohio that is an alcohol free and smoke free facility. There's about 2,900 undergraduate students at Oberlin, with 43% male students and 57% female students, representing over 40 countries around the globe. The student faculty ratio at Oberlin is 11 to 1 in the College of Arts and Sciences, and 6 to 1 in the Conservatory of Music. Oberlin also has 70% of its classes with fewer than 20 students. The freshman retention rate is 90%, and 75% of students graduate within four years. The acceptance rate is 36%, so if you don't get accepted, do not feel bad. The campus life is booming at Oberlin, as 90% of students live on campus, and there are about 175 active student organizations, such as the Student Senate, Oberlin Film Series, and Swing Dance. Residence life on campus varies, as there's different types of housing, such as first-year residential experience, theme housing based on shared interests and personality types, and program housing based on culture, language, identity, and activity. Athletics play a big role in student life, and at Oberlin College, there are 21 varsity teams that compete in the North Coast Athletic Conference in Division III NCAA. If you love sports, then you will be happy to know that 30% of students participate in intramural and club sports at Oberlin. Oberlin College also has an interesting academic school year with a 4-1-4 style calendar. The 4-1-4 academic calendar means there are two main semesters that last four months and one semester that lasts one month in between. A 4-1-4 academic calendar typically looks like this. The first four-month period starts at the beginning of September and lasts until mid-December. And then once January starts, there's a mini semester which only lasts one month. After this one month, there's another four-month semester which in this case would last from February to mid-May. This 414 academic calendar works great for a school such as Oberlin that has many studying abroad opportunities, as 75% of students use the one-month term in January to study worldwide. Oberlin College also allows students to go to a variety of different countries, such as Italy, Mexico, England, Russia, Japan, and more. If you graduate from Oberlin College, that means that you're in some good company. The school has over 40,000 alumni and many notable alumni, such as Lena Dunham, Ed Helms, Chris Broussard, and Mary Church Terrell, who is the first African-American woman to earn a college degree. Oberlin College has great connections, which is one of the many reasons why it is such a great school. There are many internship opportunities at Oberlin, such as Amazon, the Cleveland Clinic, Columbia Pictures, the Environmental Defense Fund, IBM, the National Science Foundation, U.S. Congress, and more. These connections allow for students and alumni to have enormous achievements, some of the more recognized achievements by new graduates are 12 MacArthur Genius Fellows, 8 Pulitzer Prize winners, 3 Nobel Prize re recipients, and many more. Oberlin College ranks very good in many aspects. U.S. News gave out these national rankings for Oberlin in the 2019-2020 school year. Number 11 in most innovative schools. Number 12 in best undergraduate teaching. Number 18 in writing in the disciplines number 29 in learning communities, and number 33 in liberal arts colleges. Before you get too excited, all these great achievements, great alumni, and connections come with a price. The average cost of tuition and fees at Oberlin is $56,818, with the room and board fee that averaged $16,826 in the 2019-2020 school year. Although Oberlin College is very expensive, 
51% of full-time undergraduates receive some kind of need-based financial aid, and the average need-based scholarship or grant award is $40,459, which is not bad at all. If that money talk is getting you down, these fun facts may brighten your mood. The average salary post-graduation is $47,100. Oberlin was the first college in America to adopt a policy to admit black students, which was in 1835, and the first to grant bachelor's degrees to women. 1841. The motto at Oberlin is learning and labor. Official colors are cardinal red and mikado yellow. More Oberlin graduates by percentage go on to earn PhDs than any other liberal arts college. John Heisman, for whom the Heisman Trophy is named, started his coaching career as Oberlin's first college football coach. He was undefeated in his first season. Let me know what school or topic you'd like me to cover next. Stay educated. Thanks.